first uh, last night and yesterday. Slept great last night. Another banger night. I hope I don't sound too self-congratulatory or flatter, so flattering in uh, going on about these nights. It's a, a bit like coming through the other side of a great storm. Uh, and suddenly uh, there's sunlight again and, and, and the cool summer breezes. <sighs> Gone from the tempestual uh, thunders and lightnings and darkness and waves and rain. Oh, that has been the last several years of, of life in I mean, in a relative sense, right? Uh, but in particular, relative to my sleep. I'm still having the sleep problem in, in the daytime. I still fall asleep when I'm awake, but I don't mind so much. I don't mind. It's only like a little cat nap, you know, just, just fall asleep in my chair, just as long as I don't fall asleep in the car. And I get through the work day. I just, as long as I'm busy, I'm all right. That's key. I should remember that. As long as I'm busy, I'm all right. It's when, it's when the... Uh, Work flags that I, I start to uh, lose my lose my wind speed again. No storm though. The storms seem to have passed, but there'll be new storms, of course. But I'll be reinforced, more experienced, and uh, ready to take them on. I think better able to take them on. As for challenges and opportunities, yesterday, nothing in particular. Had a really nice opportunity with my one neighbor. I've got interesting neighbors on both sides. We've got the middle unit in a three unit section. All three of our units have yards and it's such, such nice weather here. And the yards are so nice with their little, little lawns. I mean, I swear to gosh, it's just perfection. This is the best place I've ever lived. It'll be tough to give it up. Um, anyway, um, I get to know my neighbors. I've got Renee on the one side and then the new neighbor here. That I haven't quite learned their name and she's got a little son. It's just a single mom and her son and they've got a little dog, Bunny. Yesterday, Bunny escaped, first escaped under the fence into our yard, which was a surprise. Bunny retreated back and then escaped out the other side into the street. So I promptly went over and let her know. And she put up some barriers, but she put them up in the wrong place. So I have to be up first thing and catch her in the morning to make sure she doesn't put Bunny out again because I know Bunny can get out. <clears throat> and I noticed she put them in the wrong place uh, after she had uh, already gone out for the evening with her son. So I'll catch her this morning. No real opportunities or, or anything in that. Just, just relating stuff. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. But I won't, I won't go there. It's too personal. I shouldn't reveal people's lives. But it just suffice it to say, I think that uh, she is uh, having a bit of a challenge. It must be tough. I think she, being a single mom, and uh, I'm happy to be a smile for her and a friendly face. And my one neighbor, Renee, she uh, came over hat in hand, talked over the fence with me, and asked me to water her plants and feed her cat in August while she's gone, which I am very happy to do. She seemed very, uh, uh, she's not the type, she's a very independent person. I'm glad I told her, I, I said, I said she offered to pay, she's, she, all kinds of stuff. She's worried because she doesn't want to have a stranger come in or get, into her home. Nice that in six months I don't, I'm no longer really a stranger. Um, and I told her, thank you for the opportunity to be neighborly. That was an opportunity. There's also an opportunity to hear her out. She's had some difficult times as well in the recent past. Again, I won't go into details. Other than that, it was just a really nice day. Did our chores, did my book reading, did our chores. Yumiko and I went out and we had our lunch at Tokyo Central and then we did all of our shopping and came home. Had a nice evening, sat outside in the evening with a guitar, um, watched our movie and dinner together and then went to bed. A better day better day I can't imagine. And today, I'll be taking her to her, excuse me, to our surpri surprise lunch. I've been doing that on Sundays. I've been just taking me to go out to uh, places she doesn't know where we're going. I surprise her. I pick the restaurant and I've been, I've got a great score. I mean, I've been just hitting winners every week. I mean, I'm bound to, bound to fall on my face once in a while, but, but Yumiko seems to enjoy it. She seems to enjoy the being taken care of and you know <clears throat> you know I'm not <clears throat> asking where does she want to go we've been together 30 
35, 36 years now. I know where she likes. I know where to find them. In the, the greater Los Angeles area is a great uh, sprawling metropolis of opportunity. I can, I've got a Yelp app. I can put two and two together. I can read reviews and I can find a nice restaurant. And so far I've, uh, I've done good, if I do say so myself. I flatter myself with uh, the smile that's upon her face. And it makes me very happy to see that smile. Also, we've been working off of a new budget. We're entering the uh, home stretch with our daughter in university. This next, this next year is going to be tight. We're trying to do all of this without any student loans or anything like that. Um, I've, I've already burned through the uh, college fund that I had set up for her. So uh, f um, five years of university rather than four uh, uh, did that. And that's not a problem at all. <laughs> so this last year is a bit of a challenge. So uh, Yumiko and I are on a tighter budget. Um, and we're, we're reverted to a cash basis. We have a wallet with the cash. I take out a certain amount of money every, every Friday and put it into the wallet, and that's our money for the week, and uh, we get by on it. And so far, it's been, we've been very good. We've been figured out how to really cut corners. We're having fun doing it, and it's fun to count out the change everywhere we go and to revert back to that cash basis. And, and because it begins in earnest in August, that's when Emily moves into her, her apartment. So, uh, and uh, we'll be paying the, the rent on that place, as well as on this place, and uh, as well as all the tuition and et cetera. We can do this. And then uh, this time next year, um, she'll be out the other side. She's beginning to settle into her own life. And Yumiko and I will uh, be looking out for our own life. You know, always with a mind and eye and a helping hand for our daughter. But it's, uh, it'll be time for us to, uh, to, to wind down the working years and wind up the years to come, however many they may be. Let's do the good life. Seven objectives. These are. And these are all listed categorically enumerated in my book, Going Alone, in the chapter called the good life. Number one, first objective, to be always ready to die, to make good and effective use of my time, and to, uh, that's the number two, to make good and effective use of my time. I kind of bled those two together, to be always ready to die, and to make good and effective use of time. Now, I thought I was going to do the long edition of this good life creed this morning, but I've already gone nine minutes in and just doing this preamble part, the first part, and my dogs were on a timer, and I slept in a little bit this morning, so I better just get to it. To be always ready to die. To make good and effective use of time. To develop and maintain good and sound life principles. To cultivate good emotional reactions. To perform good actions. To recognize true limits and true opportunities. And to do just one thing at a time. And do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. Just as I'm doing this right now. Now, for the 34 principles. So, what's the difference between the objectives and the principles? As the name states, the objectives are where I, what I seek to achieve. That's how I want to live. The principles are the tools and utilities that I use to get there to make that happen. And these are, and you can read about them in my book, Going Alone. It's linked in the video. If you, if you watch this on YouTube, it's right down there. And if you see this anywhere else, it's if you see it on Facebook or, or Instagram, it's also linked right there. And you can find it on my on Amazon or if you go to my website, goingalone.org, you can get a signed copy and illustrated, no less. Sales pitch done. Let's do the 34 principles. War, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil. The principle of purpose, the atomic principle, the principle of nature, the pirate ride. Maturity, the social principle, the principle of family, public speaking, temperance, life will not go well, the horror show, that which must be born, the feast of Ophel, distraction, agency, and the great indifference, the best seat in the house. The Restless Man, 
the path of wildness, the great life adventure, the risk of avoiding risk, sin and damnation, complete oblivion, the season of philosophy, the bullseye aim, the uphill climb, arena and utility, nothing is enough, and the principle of fun. Boy, it sure felt like they all came smooth and easy today. Did I say this is in a philosophy? Did I get the uh, principle of family and the best seat in the house? Those are the usual, usual ones that I miss. They kind of fall between the cracks. All right, now let's do the final part of this exercise, which is to forecast the day to come. It's a Sunday. It's a day off. All our chores are done. All our shopping is done. We've got... We, we did so good on our shopping yesterday that Yuniko and I have a real good budget for today's lunch. So I can't wait to pick the place and go to the place. I'll also, uh, uh, I'm going to tidy up the car a little bit, a little more. Maybe I'll do that later. I mean, it's, it's tidy. But um, well, the reason I said I'll do it a little later, I was going to wash the car. Um, but I have, we have a guest coming next week. Um, Hiko Simon of YouTube, JVlog fame. We'll be here in Huntington Beach. I'm picking him up at the airport. Can't wait to meet him again. I don't know if he remembers, but we did meet before back at one of those Tokyo YouTube events. I'm excited to meet him again. Anyway, so for today, I'm going to do this, upload this, type up my words, read the Bible, edit one page of Freeway Bible Study, uh, take care of the dogs, add the journal, YouTube, uh, meta these are code words for the things I have to do. YouTube means catch up on all my YouTube comments. I do that every day now. I'm all caught up on my YouTube, completely caught up on all every comment that people leave that I can still access going back years. I'm all caught up on, I also catch up on all my meta, all my comments on Instagram and the say, Softy Papa page and also on my Facebook page and uh, Facebook profile or wall, I think it's called. I catch up on my email <clears throat> and then I'll Settle in. I have a couple of things I need to do. I need to ship a book. I need to do a lot of reading. And then I'll, when my wife wakes up, I'll pick up, find a place for us to go. My wife wakes up. We'll like dress in our nice clothes and go out for a nice grown-up dinner, the two of us, or lunch, the two of us. And we'll talk. We'll dream. Dream about what? About the life to come. Also, not forgetting to live well now, because tomorrow may not be here, may not come ever. So we're living well now as well. But it's fun to think about the future. That's the principle of fun, to enjoy the moment now, to enjoy reflections of yesterday, and to enjoy the anticipation of the days to come. That's it. My Good Life uh, meditation is done for today. I wish you all the best. Be safe, but not too safe. And with that, my life is done, if not finished. See ya.